Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I am going to show you how to use overlays in Photo-P and this is really useful. I've been obsessed with making seamless patterns and have just mastered the chevron seamless pattern and the diagonal line seamless pattern which has taken me a little bit to understand. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you um, what overlays are. I do have a few of them. So here I have um, what I call a diagonal long seamless pattern. And what these are is they're PNG files. So what you see in black will show up and the white will actually be that transparent background. And you'll see that in just a few minutes when we open that up in Photo P. I also have a diagonal short where I've shortened those lines up. A um, dot overlay. A heart overlay, the loose chevron as I like to call it, a stripe overlay, and a tight chevron overlay. So I'm just going to go back over to Photopea. And what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to go over to Photopea.com and click on new project, or I'm sorry, open from computer. I'm not going to go through how to create these patterns today, but I will in a future video. I just want to show you how to use these PNG overlays because they are very useful. And you can, I'll be creating some overlay uh, packs very shortly that y'all can use. And you can find some of these on Etsy and Design Puddles. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my overlays and I'm going to go ahead and do the loose chevron as the first example. So you go ahead and click open and I make all of these 12 by 12 or 3600 by 3600 pixels at 300 dpi. That way you can use these for your digital scrapbooking. So you see these little checkered parts in the background. Those are your transparent background and these stripes are um, automatic in there. So the first thing that I normally do is create a color overlay over this background. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to change the color of these chevron stripes here. So you're just going to click on effect and you're going to go to color overlay. And what that's going to do is it's going to pop up and then you can go over and right now blue was automatically selected for me. It must have been one of the last colors I used. You can click on this right here and you can change your color based off of what you're looking for. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm just going to keep it at the blue. And you go ahead and click OK. And then that will stay that the way it is. And you can click on this effect here and you'll see that it has that color lay effect. Just go. So we want to get rid of this transparent part of the background. So you're going to go down to New Adjustment Layer. And once you click on that, you're going to want to go to color fill. That's going to create a new layer. And as you can see, it drops the layer above your background. So to change the position, you're just going to click on the color fill and drag it down. What that's going to do is it's going to place the color fill back behind the background. Of course, this red on blue does not look good at all. So you're going to want to click on it. This will open up if it's not already open and you're going to change that color. I'm just going to change it down to a gray. And then you can see that you have this gray and blue chevron pattern. Okay, so that's one option that you have. If for some reason you want this to be tighter or whatever, you can scale it up in whatever program you're using or scale it down in whatever programming you're using to fill it. So you can just go ahead and export that as a JPEG. I'm not going to go through and do that, but if you export it as a JPEG, you will save this and then you can use it as a pattern wherever you see fit. So I'm just going to go through this one more time. I'm going to do it with the hearts overlay. And you can see here that it's the same process, right? We're going to go to effects and we're going to go to color overlay. Now the auto for that is going to be blue. I'm going to go ahead and change it to red because hearts. Click OK. Again, new adjustment later color fill, drag it down, change your color fill. You can change it to white, black, gray, I mean really whatever color you want. You can go to the color picker 
and do it like that. You can change it by um, just moving your cursor around in the color pane window. Uh, really the options are kind of endless for that. And click OK. And then that's it. That's all there is to it. The other thing that you can do with these overlays is you can take them And I'm going to do this with the dots overlay. And you can set them as a pattern. And all you do for this is you open it up, you go to Edit, Define New, Pattern. And that's going to drop it into your pattern. If you go to New, we'll just do on this paper test. We want our paper to be 3600 by 3600, okay? The transparent background. You can do the same thing and you can go to uh, adjustment and you can go to pattern fill and then what you can do is you can go open up your patterns and you can click on the dots pattern that we just had open. Now if you want them smaller you can change your scale if you want them bigger, you can change your scale up to whatever you see fit, okay? And with the seamless patterns, it's nice because you don't have to worry about tiling or scaling. And I'll show you what this looks like with the tighter chevron seamless pattern because for some reason, every one that I download is not seamless. We're going to go define new pattern. We're going to go back over to our paper test. We're going to click on the tight chevron that we just opened up. This is at 150 scale. I'm going to drop it down to 50. You can see that there's no gaps. There are no lines. And you can fill that however you want. You can even go to and do the same process for this if after you set it as a pattern that we just did. And it really is just about personal preference. So we'll do that again one more time, except we'll do it with a diagonal pattern. So that way you can see that this one is also seamless. For some reason, I struggled to make these seamless, and then all of a sudden it clicked. I actually did it in Silhouette Studio to make the pattern and then export it to a PNG with Inkscape. I'm sure I could have gotten the same results using Inkscape, but um, I was just messing around in Studio, and that seemed to work for me. So again, this one is at a 75% scale. You can drop it down to a 50. This is a seamless pattern. You can move these around and you're not going to get any lines. Everything looks perfect and that's all there is to it. So hopefully you got something out of this, uh, learning how to use different overlays. And if you like this video, please click like and subscribe below and feel free to join up on my Facebook group where I'm always looking for feedback from y'all on what else to do. I hope everybody has a great night.